Welcome to a brand new video. Today we are gonna be doing a little what I eat in a day. I like these ones a lot because, I don't know, they always give me a ton of inspo on things I could try or different meals to make, why not? So I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the things that I eat and I'll just throw the disclaimer out there that everybody's different and some days I eat more, some days I eat less. I listen to what I'm, when I'm hungry, when I'm not, as you should too, and um, you know, follow whatever your body tells you because that's the best way you can go about it. But as you saw already, so you saw my breakfast, I usually eat pretty quickly after I get up because I'm one of those people who gets hungry right away. Like I'm always, I like to think about my meals. I like to plan out my meals. So I had breakfast right away, which you would have already saw. I've already hit the gym, gotten ready, and now I'm gonna have my post gym snack. So this is kind of like something I'll have to tie me over before lunch. So we're gonna do up my favorite green smoothie. Strawberry, banana, frozen strawberry and banana, scoop of peanut butter, not a scoop, a spoonful, and a ton of spinach. This is literally my go-to, my favorite smoothie. Um, you can put your oat milk or your almond milk, but I typically just pop in some water. Some days I'll do whatever milk I feel like, but water is usually the go-to. I love when it's still thicker. So this is like the perfect consistency. So I've actually been looking forward to lunch all day because I'm making a taco salad and it's gonna be really good. So I'll just show you all of the things that I have that I'm gonna be putting into it. I have some of the things that are pre-cut and then other things that I'm gonna have to obviously prepare and get ready for the salad. All right, so I got this funky lettuce from the grocery store. It still has the roots still on there. So I'm gonna have to chop up some of that for the salad. I already have food prepped in the fridge, some tomato. I actually chopped this up this morning, which you would have saw for breakfast. I just popped it in a little container. And then I already have some onion chopped up as well. We're gonna be using an avocado. I'm just gonna use half of it for my salad right now. I also love corn in a uh, taco salad. So I'm gonna rinse off some of that. For my protein, we're gonna do up a black bean. Now I also have a tortilla here. I'm gonna slice this up and I'm gonna toast it and kind of put it on the side of my salad. I mean, if you had uh, tortilla chips, then those would go great in a salad as well, but I don't. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna toast one of these babies up, get it nice and crispy and pop it on the side of the salad. So here we have it. This turned out really well. I love, love, love toasting these. And I have two more slices, but I'm just kind of munching on those. I don't know why I left it blank in the middle. I was trying to make it very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, and then I realized I'm like, oh, I didn't put anything in the middle. I'm going to top it with a little hot sauce too. I honestly wish I had lime, which I realize now that I don't because I would squeeze that on top, but I love this green hot sauce. I'm also going to top it with a little ranch dressing as well. So we 
are about six o'clock right now and I'm gonna get started on dinner. What I'm gonna be making for dinner is some tofu, potatoes, and then some sort of vegetable. I like to have a good mix, you know, the protein, the carb, as well as the veggie. The tofu I'm gonna fry up on the frying pan and then the potatoes. What I honestly love doing is cutting them into french fry form and baking them and smothering them in a little bit of olive oil, garlic powder, salt and pepper. You know, the nines. It just turns out so good. You bake them till they're a little bit crispy so they're just like little french fries. I make those weekly because I'm obsessed. About four. I might do more. We'll see how many I feel like doing. The potatoes, they usually take about 45 to an hour to prepare and cook. So you definitely want to get started on these first and then um, do up the rest of your food afterwards. A lot of the time I will roast veggies at the same time, but I think for today I'm just going to fry up veggies as well on the frying pan with the tofu. All right, now that we have all the potatoes chopped up here, so this was four potatoes. Now we do a little olive oil, drizzle, a little garlic powder, a little, well, a lot. You can do however much you want there. Salt and pepper. And then I usually just mix it up a little bit before baking it. have my tofu here. I'm just going to cut off one slice because I don't want to cook the whole thing. Slice like this and just have that portion for dinner and I'll sear it on the frying pan. So I'm going to make a little rub for my tofu. I'm going to use a little bit of paprika, touch of chili, also some thyme. So I'll just take a little bit of that and so I'm just going to add a little bit of water to make it more of that rub slash pasty texture um, and then I can just add that on to my tofu that's frying up. And I'm just popping on broccoli here now. This was just frozen broccoli so it won't take that long to cook up but I love when my tofu is extra crispy around the edges so I always like to let that cook for a little bit first. And then when this is all ready the potatoes should be good to come out of the oven and everything will be ready at the same time. For evening snack, I can't go an evening without snacking. I always like to have something after dinner. So I am having a little bowl of grapes, just like things that you can just, you know, snack on. And I also have some of these, which are little energy bites that I make weekly. I make a whole batch of them weekly and I kind of just snack on them throughout. I'll just have two of those as well. So there we go, some grapes and some energy bites. I will actually link the recipe to the energy bites below. They are up on my blog, um, they're so good. The last thing that I like to have in the evening is a tea. So I do a peppermint tea, so there's no caffeine in that. And then I add chocolate oat milk to it. So it's kind of like a mint chocolate little evening delight. Started doing this recently and I was like, why did I never think to put chocolate oat milk in my teas? Because that just makes it 10 times better. Such a nice way to wind down. And that's basically an example of some things that I would eat in a day. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will catch you in the next one.